Hey guys, so today I have a spoiler free book review for one of my most anticipated releases of 2021 and that is The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. I got this in my book of the month when I saw that it was a choice. It was like an immediate yes for me and I honestly would have been very disappointed if it wasn't a book of the month selection. I just had a very strong feeling that it was going to be. So I read it and I wanted to read it very badly because I have read Kristen Hanna's um, two of our other books, The Nightingale and The Great Alone, and both of those books are just incredible. They definitely made my favorites lists of the year, so from this point moving forward, I will be reading anything that Kristen Hanna writes. I have to say it lives up to the others, but in a very, very different kind of way. So something unusual for this book is that I actually don't really feel comfortable giving it a star rating because I really, when I finished this book, I closed this book and I could not wrap my head around, first of all, what I just read, and second of all, what I even felt about it. Because for me, the five star rating system generates mostly from how much I enjoyed it. And I have to put it out there, I did not enjoy this book. I did not enjoy reading this. I did not like this. I was not comfortable with this. I was not happy with this story. But that being said, it probably will still make my favorites of 2021. So let me explain a little further. If you haven't yet heard of The Four Winds, this is about a woman named Elsa. And she lives in Texas. And it's during the Depression slash Dust Bowl era, which is like an era period of time in history that I really haven't ever really read fiction about. So this was a new experience in that regard. And She's at a point in her life where she has to make some hard decisions for her family. Is she going to remain in Texas where the land is completely dried up um, and it's just like dangerous living conditions at that point? Or is she going to try to find herself a new life over in the golden land of California or that's how it's made out to be? And we're following basically her survival story with her family. And it really truly is a survival story. This isn't some happy book that you're going to feel like gave you a really nice hug. This is a book that honestly the best way to describe it is like I felt like I was reading it with my eyes almost closed, like reading it like through my hand, like I didn't want to read what was going to happen next because I knew what was going to happen next was going to be even more heartbreaking than what had happened before. So I'm probably not doing a really great job of selling this, but I just want to be completely honest that this is a book I outright couldn't really recommend to just everybody just because it contains such hard topics and it was genuinely hard to read. If you're looking for reading as an escape from reality and like as something to enjoy, then this is maybe not the time for you to read this book. You can always come back to it later, but I just would hate for someone to feel even worse after reading this because this put me in a pretty bad mood, to be quite honest. Another interesting thing about this book is that this was definitely like a slow burn in terms of me getting into the characters and really feeling for this family. Um, I was chatting with a girl on Instagram about it and we were both around this same spot in the book. I was page 130 and both of us were just kind of saying like, yeah, we're not like super into the characters yet. Like we don't dislike them, but there's just like, we haven't clicked with them yet. And I can't say for certain when it shifted for me. But I'm going to tell you, it shifted so hard for me. I mean, I went from being like on the fence about this family, not really too interested in Elsa as a character, and I was just following her life, but I didn't have much investment into it until I felt like they were my family members and I was being forced to watch the horrific things that they had to go through and all of the hopeless, helpless situations that they lived through. And I felt so deeply for them. I It was such a shift, honestly. I didn't think I was going to get there because it did take a really long time for me to feel for the characters. But once I started feeling for the characters, it was completely over for me. I wanted only the best things for them. And it got to the point like anytime something slightly good happened to them, I was afraid because I knew something was gonna come and take it, their happiness away and I didn't want to read that because I loved them so much and I cared about them so much. So Elsa has two children who are also a big part of this book, Loretta, her eldest daughter and aunt, her cute as a button little boy. I just, he really like had my heart this whole book. Uh, he was probably 
I don't even think it's a probably Ant was just my favorite character he was just like he was like the like only source of light that was in this book at so many times like just his character so I really loved him and I ended up really loving this family because I'm not gonna be spoiling anything I don't really want to talk too much more because I don't want to like give you an idea of what to think or feel with this book even though I kind of already have shared like how I felt through it and I don't even know if I should tell you to read it like I feel like this is such a weird review because normally I'm really gung-ho about the books that I'm reviewing and I'm telling you yes you should pick this up I'd recommend this to everybody this is the complete opposite with this book I would hesitate in recommending this to people and I think people going into this book should know that it is pretty heavy and if you are someone who reads for escapism this might not be the one that you want to read right now um, or you just may really have to consider reading it. There were so many points at the book I thought if this thing happens like if a certain thing would happen like unspecific but just at various points in the book I was like I'm closing this book and I am done like I am done with the story I can't read this book anymore and I didn't ever get to the point where I did that but it was pretty close I have to say like there were quite a few scenarios where I just was about to get really mad and upset and have to give this book a break. It sounds like I hated this book and I really don't want that to be the impression that comes across. I feel like I really need to say that I think this story is an incredible story. It's just a very heartbreaking story and it's very enlightening, especially for someone who has never read any fiction set in this time era. And although it is historical fiction, people live like this today every day all in america across the world it's not like this is something that happened back then and oh america's really figured it out and the whole world has really figured it out since then like that is so far from the truth and i think that's what's really scary about this book is that it's not just stuff that happened during the great depression like this injustice that happens to these human beings and how they're treated continues to thrive unfortunately i thought it was very eye-opening a very well told story like i said i didn't know if I was ever really gonna feel something for the characters in the beginning of the book and Chris and Hannah just has a way of writing a story and you just don't even know how sucked in you are until it's far too late and you are so completely invested in them that you your heart hurts when theirs hurt and it's just it's a lot I'm gonna end this review if you've read it um, we can definitely chat in detail about it because I have not yet talked to anyone who has finished it so I would love to talk about what you felt when you read this book and like even if you would give it a rating like I think I ended up giving it a four star on Goodreads it's probably a five star like I don't really know like this is a book that is just really hard for me to put a rating toward um, but I'm gonna stop talking now read this if you feel inclined to do so, but do not feel pressured to read this book as I have stated many times why it might be hard to do so in this video. But that is all I'm gonna have to say for today's review. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading.